Hey guys, it's Krithika. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have a special guest, the most talented, talented brilliant, amazing, brilliant, incredible, incredible spectacular, show-stopping, never the same, totally unique guest, the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I can't tell you how excited I am about this. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing my iPhone and a few other accessories that I got along with it. So to be honest, I already did unbox this because I filmed this stop motion unboxing. I feel like stop motion is my new favorite thing to do. And because I did the actual unboxing, during the stop motion I feel like I couldn't really take it in and feel excited while unboxing because I was so busy taking shots but because I spent so much time and effort in filming the stop motion I'm gonna quickly insert it over here so you can check it out So yeah, that was the actual unboxing that I did, which also, by the way, is filmed on an iPhone. I filmed it on my mom's iPhone 11. But for the sake of this video, because I didn't really get to enjoy the actual unboxing process, I'm going to be unboxing it again and soaking it all in. A couple of things before I actually start unboxing. I know I'm not a tech channel, but I have made a few tech videos in the past and you guys seem to enjoy it. Also, as a person, I really enjoy tech when it's related to like productivity and cameras and videos, uh, which I think the iPhone falls under both of those categories. So this is my current iPhone, which I've been using for the past two and a half years. I recently got the battery exchanged on it, so it's actually as good as new. So this isn't going to go to waste. I'm going to give this to my grandmother and she's going to be using it. But coming to my new iPhone, without wasting too much time, I'm just going to unbox it and then we shall talk some more about iPhones. Whoa, look at how pretty this color is. Oh my God, oh, I love this so much. Here's a little close up for you. So like you can see, I got the Pacific blue iPhone. So honestly, I was so confused about what color to get because all the colors are so beautiful, but I've always had like space gray graphite uh, iPhone. So this time I didn't want to buy like the graphite one and the silver and the gold look really nice, but somehow the Pacific blue just like called out to me. Uh, if you don't know about my obsession with the color blue, here is exhibit A, my wall, exhibit B, my phone cover, Exhibit C, my AirPods cover. So yeah, I just really love blue and this shade in particular, it just looks so pretty. So I just knew I had to get this iPhone. Also, we've got squared edges, which looks so pretty. And I got the 12 Pro Max, which is like the biggest phone size I've ever had. I was kind of unsure about how the size would feel, but holding it in the hand, it actually feels amazing. And just to compare the sizes, this is my iPhone 10, and this of course is the Pro Max. So you can see how much bigger this phone is. Okay, I'm doing such a bad unboxing. I've totally neglected this. So of course we have the charger. Like you know, they don't have like the adapter in their packaging anymore. But I do have a bunch of adapters at home. Even my iPad's adapter works with this because it's type C to lightning. So I think I'm good on that front. And then we have a bunch of things here. So that's pretty much all there is in this box. Apart from this, I've also got some accessories. First, I've got this black silicone case. Let's open it up. Again, I already unboxed this for my stop motion, but we're gonna pretend this is my first unboxing. There you go, this is what it looks like. And it's also got this MagSafe thing inside. So let's put this on before I drop my iPhone. Looks pretty good, I think. I'm definitely gonna be buying a bunch of other cases because I really like switching up my cases. Uh, but apart from that, we also have this leather wallet. So this is something I'm also excited to use. This is what it looks like and this sort of just attaches onto this through MagSafe. So there you go, doesn't fall off. Wow, it's actually quite strong, the magnet, so it doesn't easily come off. So you can just like put your money, credit cards, whatever you want to put when you're like going out. So of course, I'm not going to be using this all the time at home. But if I am going out, I like the option of like having this. And this is what the whole setup looks like. Finally, something I'm super excited about is the MagSafe charger. So this is basically like the wireless charger. I've already unboxed it. So this is what it looks like. Let's see how this works. Ooh, it's actually really strong. 
this is like quite powerful i'm excited to see how fast like the charging process is with this but this over here has again the type c uh, pin i feel like most of my adapters are like regular usb so i may just end up buying like a type c adapter but until then i'm just going to use like my ipad's adapter and i think that's going to work but i'm quite impressed with how strong this magnet is so this has been my unboxing i can't get over how pretty this is i thought the size would feel really big but it feels quite good in my hand like it doesn't feel like excessively big but anyway let's turn it on hello what i love about apple is how easy it is to like set up from one device to the other even with my ipad it was so easy to like transfer data from like my old ipad to my new ipad so let me quickly do this this is what's happening Okay, so I'm just gonna go set this up and see you guys in a bit and we're gonna go out and test out the camera. Hey again, so I've finished setting up my new phone. The whole process took about half an hour. It was very smooth. And out and about now to test out the camera on this bad boy. So I'm with our in-house Apple expert, the person who has convinced me to buy almost every Apple product that I own, my brother. Hi. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just gonna take a few shots on this, photos, videos, and see what the quality is like. Here's me vlogging with the iPhone. This reminds me of my first few videos because I think the first 20 videos on my channel were shot on the iPhone. But the front camera is sort of wide enough, but it doesn't have the different lenses obviously. But I quite like the quality. So right now I'm filming on the iPhone. I haven't changed any of the settings, so these are the default settings. They also have like a wide angle. This is what the wide angle looks like. And a telephoto, like zoom, 2.5 zoom. randomly stopped on the side of the road and I'm going to be taking some photos to test out how the camera is for that but the colors on this are so nice because of Dolby Vision so yeah, at least on this it looks really nice when I'm editing I'll be able to tell how it looks so all the travel was sight in these rhymes so they realize that she got me out of my mind I'm trying to kick these nerves to grab hold to the microphone got him not in the lawn maybe she'll save the world for me maybe she'll write my wrongs if I'm coming on too strong oh well only way to tell is by saying this how I feel and that's real home now and first things first i have to say i'm super super impressed with this camera i was just looking at these photos and we didn't even put too much effort into like taking these pictures we were just like casually taking photos to see what the camera is like but some of these photos actually look like they were shot on a professional camera especially like the ones with the portrait mode i mean look at this this looks so good so yeah i'm so excited to get this upgrade even the video quality i was filming just on the basic default settings but there's a lot of other options i'm actually gonna go through the settings now and see what all i can do also the camera one amazing feature that i'm very excited about is that we can now take photos in raw which is so cool so earlier it was possible through like some apps and stuff but those were like paid apps and kind of hard to use i have tried them before so it's incredible that the camera can now take photos in raw i think it comes with the new update which i did update my software so in your settings if you go into formats there's there's apple pro raw so that is another feature that i'm very excited about and overall just having like a wide angle lens because my old phone didn't have that is so cool uh, but another thing i wanted to test out is the night mode so of course as you can see it's bright right now but maybe later on during the day when it gets dark i will test out the night mode as well out in my garden right now and as you can tell it's pretty dark outside so i wanted to test out the night mode on this camera so this part of the garden is sort of lit up but when you move this side it's completely dark Just 
right. I know I'm lying to myself. Part of my wishful thinking. Still fly from here to drink. So I've been playing with my new iPhone for the past few hours and I'm honestly in love and surprisingly I'm already used to this size like my 10 looks so tiny in comparison now and uh, I'm really loving this bigger screen and of course the camera on this is amazing. Today I just took like very experimental random shots but I'm really excited to put this camera to like good use when I'm traveling or even otherwise when I'm taking like self portraits and stuff. So overall very excited and very in love with my new phone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was more of like a casual unboxing slash first impressions and I'll try to do more iPhone related videos. If you have any requests leave them down below. I know a lot of you keep asking me to do like a what's on my iPhone video and maybe I could do like an updated uh, self portraits using my iPhone 12 Pro Max and see like how much better the quality is. So if you have any other ideas, leave them down below. And if you'd like to see more photos that I've shot on my new phone, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys next time. Bye.